Yo, what's going on? So, a few weeks ago, I was in a group call with all of my clients. And this a group call is where if my clients have any questions, any updates, any concerns, anything they want to share, they will talk about it in this group call as a family. And this one client of mine had a question about dating uh, which I found very, very interesting. And from a perspective, I've never ad addressed it from before. And I had to think on the spot for an answer, but I'm really fucking happy with how the answer came out. And I wanna share that with you now. So the question about dating was, okay, so, I'm going to be in the role of my client that asks this, this question. I want the best girl in my life, right? I don't want to settle. And if I'm looking for the best, I wouldn't want to find someone. I wouldn't want to be with someone who stuttered because there's a better out there so why would somebody accept me for my stutter wouldn't that just be them settling now there's a lot of um, things a lot of ideas about this about the stutter that this person um, has in his mind like the stutter is a bad thing the stutter is something that means you're less than other people, right? Um, and there was a whole mindset sh shift we had to talk about when it comes to that. But the thing I want to address here is if someone accepts me for my stutter, isn't that them settling? Because it's not really me. And this is what I want to address is in this question, there was a disconnect between the stutter and yourself. You're saying the stutter isn't me. If they accept this, they're not really accepting me. And if they love this version of myself, they're not really loving me. And then to get into a relationship with me where I'm this version of myself a lot of the time, it's not truly me. So by the time I show myself, like, are they really accepting me? This is so su such a cool question because these two are not separate. People who take the approach that stuttering is bad, stuttering is something to avoid, stutter stuttering is something that makes you weak, Yes, of course. Why would you want to say you are the same? Why would you want to say these two, you and your stutter are the same? But that's not fucking true at all. As you know, your stutter is just the outcome of how you're truly feeling, of the tension inside of you. When you're in a room by yourself and you're relaxed and you don't have any performance anxiety, you have no one to please, you have nothing to prove yourself to, you, you, sp you speak fine, you speak effortlessly. But the moment you're trying to prove yourself or please others or feel like you have to be perfect in this situation is the moment you're going to start to stutter. Your stutter is just a reflection of your inner tensions, of your inner feelings, of what's going on in your brain. It's not separate. It's, it's you. It's a byproduct of you. It's not fucking separate. And to say like my, st my st stutter doesn't hold me back, yeah, that's true. It doesn't hold you back. You are the only one holding you back. But the stutter in you, 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 you guys need to be friends. You guys need to work together because it's just exposing you to where you are still weak. It's just exposing you to where you are still giving out your power. Now, I, I can imagine me saying it's exposing you to where you're weak may have been a bit triggering. What I mean by that is 
it's showing you where you still feel like you need to prove yourself. It's showing you where you still feel like you need to please others, where you're still trying to pre pretend like you're not who you truly are, while you still feel like you need to be perfect. It's showing you where you're losing your authenticity. It's showing you where you are not feeling safe to completely express yourself freely without thought, with, without filtering, without anticipation. So going back to the question is like, I told, I told this to him. I told, say you meet a girl, right? Say you meet a girl and you absolutely love everything about her the way she expresses herself, the way she looks at you, her personality, her integrity, her values, everything is perfect. Your humor is the same and you just connect so fucking well. She has a stutter, but it doesn't fucking affect her. It doesn't make her shy away. It doesn't make her hold back. She st stutters, but she's still herself. Will that stutter hurt the connection that you have absolutely not unless you have a fucking vendetta against your stutter unless your relationship with stuttering is so fucking negative then you can't even look at a stutter but the stutter itself will be a magnification to the connection you feel with her be because the stutter is just representing again your true tension inside of you that vulnerability of showing that of showing your true self is how true connection gets built stuttering is a fucking life hack to amazing amazing connections with other people where it goes bad is where when you feel your stutter is something to hide from where you feel your stutter is something that makes you weak when you feel your stutter is, okay, so I see the contradiction when I say, when you feel your stutter is something that makes you weak. And then I also said be, before, like, it's showing you where you're still weak. Like, your stutter is showing you where you're still weak. Meaning, like, it's, it's exposing you to the environments where you don't feel like you're your true self, like I said. But the stutter itself is not weak you are always doing your best and you're always holding your integrity the stutter itself is not weak it's exposing you to where you're losing your power so the stutter itself is not weak i think it's the strongest strongest um thing that you can do in the interaction is to stutter openly because then you're working on that weakness that you have in this in this situation you're working on the need to please others and the need to prove yourself all right so i hope i cleared that contradiction the stutter itself is not weak you stuttering is so fucking strong you stuttering openly is so so fucking strong and when you can stutter openly with another girl with another guy it's only going to deepen the connection if you like that person if that person is right for your life the the stutter will only the stutter will only be a problem if the person doesn't like you for you that's it because the stutter and you are jointed the stutter will only be a problem in the connection if the person doesn't like you for you so it's amazing when you can be open and stutter and not feel like you have to hide away because that's where the that you get to show your true fucking self right but that's work it takes work to change your relationship with your stutter so it's no longer something to hide from it's no longer something to be ashamed of but it's actually something neutral a bare minimum or positive in your life all right and once you can come to that spot where it's no longer something to hide from it's no longer something to um not show people is when it becomes your biggest fucking superpower for connection. I hope that made sense. So if you don't like someone because they stutter, it's either you have an unhealthy relationship with your own stutter, with your own emotions, or it's 
exposing them more openly and you don't like who they are. And the, the same thing with, with um, the role reversal. If you're st stuttering in front of somebody, but you're being open, you're not caring about it, you're, you're just relaxed and it's not bothering you, and the person doesn't like that, they don't like you for you. That's it, all right? Or they have an unhealthy relationship with, with true um, authenticity or whatever, but it's not, a right con it's not a right connection. But first, you have to change your relationship with your stutter to view it as not a bad thing. And that's where the work comes in. And that's why people become, that's why, pe that's why people work with me is to change that relationship. Because once you're no longer viewing your stutter as something bad, it's no longer something to resist, it's no longer something to avoid, and it's no longer something that persists. It's when you are fighting it. It's when you're trying to, like when you have a negative outlook on it, you're constantly repressing it, you're constantly pushing it away. So every time it comes up, you are fighting it and you're trying to push through it and you are causing more and more and more tension in your body. But the moment it's no longer something to re resist is the moment it no longer persists, all right? That's my approach. Also becoming the most authentic version of yourself so you don't have to prove, please, perfect, or pretend in any situation and you can express yourself authentically in all situations. That's when you're your most free. That's when you stutter the last the least as a by as a byproduct of that and yeah so if you want to join i have a free facebook group that i started a little bit ago and i'm just really going to get really really active on it i have a free facebook group that you can join right now the link is in the description of this video all you have to do go down to the description click this link and fill in some some questions in order to um, join this Facebook group. This is where you can ask any questions. This is where if you have any concerns, any things you're unsure about, you can ask me, you can interact with me, and I'll be doing live classes on there as well. Things that won't be on YouTube like this, all right? A lot more in-depth, a, um, a lot more tailored to your situation because I'll get to know you a bit more. And that's it, all right? I hope you like the angle of this. I mean, I don't really care if you like the angle, but I hope it was interesting to, to you the way we address this, all right? Because the angle of it is truth. It's the fucking truth. There's no question about it. And uh, I love you, all right? I'll see you in the Facebook group.